This video is about the links panel. Right here. If you can't find it, go to your Windows menu. Now, this is an image that I copied and pasted onto here. And this image, because it's been copied and pasted, it is considered embedded in here. It is not linked and it does not show up on the links panel. Whereas this image, Yellow Beetle, is linked to a file and it's showing right now. It's linked to the 204 handout Boston images folder. It is sitting in there. Likewise, this one here, Junk Dog, is linked to my M drive in my pictures link demo. It's sitting in there. And why are files linked? Files are linked so that the original InDesign document file does not have to store all the digital information of the picture. It just puts on a screen resolution version of the file sitting on here. Lots of times the students say it doesn't look great and that can just be because the display performance isn't set to, to show it in a really high quality. Uh, but also, you know, these, any scanned photos can have uh, quite a large size, maybe 20 megabytes. And once you start adding 20 megabytes over and over for a 10 page document, then the file in design file size would become too large. So instead, the, the information for the file is held over in the original uh, picture file. And when it is printed or has some output, it goes to get that information. The preview here is just a low resolution video. The links panel is also used to quickly locate a image file in your document. So for example, I'm on page one right now. If I want to go to this scribble on page three, I can select this and click the go to and there it is front and center. So again, if I want to go back to page, the junk dog on page one, click the go to link, and there it is selected right there in front. Now if I double click here in the panel, then I get information about the image. Now, if it was created in a program, like for example, this AI file, if I double click there, it was created in Adobe Illustrator. So that is shown along with the size and other information. Now this uh, scribble here on page three, This was made in Illustrator and the whole power of links is that I can go in and edit this original uh, piece of artwork here in Illustrator by clicking on this icon here, Edit Original. When I click that, it opens up Illustrator and there is my diagram. So I am just going to edit that a little bit. Oops. Okay, and now I'm going to save, save it right 
need to save it in the same place. Just here. Hold on here. Something's going on here. Oh, I clicked up here to save the InDesign file, which is behind. This is the one here. So that is saved. I'm going to close this. And you can see that here in InDesign, this graphic that was changed over in the original is changed is changed here in the InDesign document. This image here, Junk Dog, I'm on the page one. If I want to edit this original, uh, sometimes, okay, if I select this and come here, it tries to open it in the wrong program. If I click here, opens it in the viewer. But I can right click here and tell InDesign I want to edit this with, I'm going to say paint. I could go other and go to Photoshop, but I'm just going to stick with paint here, which is how I originally put this hat on anyway, was in paint. So just put a square there. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And save it. And close it. And you can see that it is updated over here in InDesign. So that is the power of linking. That you have access to go and edit not only your text that you bring in, but your images. So what happens if images get moved from the original location? Let's find out. That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to take these two images and put them in here and watch the links panel what happens. And let's come back over here and you can see that now it's trying to tell us that it cannot find these images here. Also down here on the pre-flight, uh, if we open this, it also would tell us that it's missing links to these. And similarly, it's showing us the page number. But let's just stick here with this links panel. So we can select one and ask it to relink and they're in here. So it's looking for the junk dog and there it is. So when I when I corrected the one, it actually relinked uh, the other ones as well because they were in there and it found them. If you hover over a file in the links panel, you can see that the tooltip will show you where the path is so that you can see your, your navigation path through there where it's stored. Okay, so one of your exercises asks you to go and copy and paste this links palette folder from the handout into your M drive. So that's what I've done. And when I open it, here is an InDesign file that was made in CS2. So I'm going to double click to open that. And you can see that uh, it gives us this message. And I'm going to say don't update. And I just want to show you this last icon is this little uh, caution triangle. And it 
it says modified double click to update so when you see that black exclamation mark in the yellow triangle it means that it's from a lower version and uh, you can update just by double clicking on those oh I don't want to do the, the the dock one so just these images if you double click it will update them it just means that these are now ready to be uh, manipulated within CS uh, 4 or 5 a higher version so the three status if it's missing uh, you will get the red stop sign if it's been modified you will get this one and you just update it and you can use that to relink if something has moved